In this video, we will talk about some texturing techniques in Vista to make our terrain from this to this. Back to the graph editor. First, let's put these nodes into a group to help organize the graph. Select them, then right click and choose group selection, then give the group a name. Next, let's paint a base color for the whole terrain. I will create a texture output node. This node allows you to assign a terrain layer asset. I will pick the dark gray texture as my base color. Save it and back to the scene view. Very good. Now we will add grass texture to it. A very common technique used in procedural texturing is using slope mask, where we select pixels depending on the surface angle. The slope mask node is perfect for that. It requires a height map. We will drag a line from our hydraulic erosion node output to it. Looks messy, right? Delete it. Now connect the hydraulic erosion node output to a set variable node. Then give that variable a name, like height map. Then we add a get variable here. And select the height map variable. Connect it to our slope mask node. Assuming that grass only grows where the surface is not very steep, we will move the min max angle towards zero and adjust the transition curve. To see the mask visualized in the 3D view, right click on the hydraulic erosion node and select show as height. From now on, it doesn't matter which node is being selected, the 3D view will always draw this hydraulic erosion node as the height map. Next, switch the default texture draw mode to texture using this button. Now you can see the mask on the terrain. To view it better, go to the graph and editor tab Change gradient mode to white red. Play around with the slope mask node until you're satisfied. Now let's output a grass texture. It doesn't look right in the scene. To fix this, we need to add a weight blend node 
and rewire our texture output through it. The Weight Blend node will adjust our texture intensity so they can be rendered nicely with the terrain. You can leave the first input blank, it will take the default value. Save it. Looks better. Next, we will highlight the eroded part of the terrain by taking the erosion output of the first hydraulic erosion node and register a variable for it. Select the Weight Blend node to add another slot. Set Layer Count to 3. Before plugging the Erosion Map 1 to the Weight Blend node, we need to remap it to value between 0 and 1. Because this map contains very small values that are not quite good for texturing, Plug it in, then output another texture layer. Perfect. Moving on, now we will highlight the settled sediment that has been transported by the water using this water output. Similar to the previous step, register a variable for it. Moving down, get that variable. Remap it. Plug it in and output another texture. Great. Final step. Let's highlight the micro-erosion. This time we'll use the output from the second hydraulic erosion node.
and that's it. 